afternoon and welcome to the National Japanese American Historical Society's 2017 Annual Awards Tribute. Um, our, um, our event, this theme this year is Preserve and Protect Our Freedoms 2017 in comm commemoration of the 75th anniversary of the Executive Order 9066. My name is Julie Small, I'm a reporter for KQED Public Radio and um, I was asked to MC this uh, co MC this event with Brian um, because of my connection to Grace and Art, who are two of the recipients, award recipients this year. Um, I met Grace because I was I found out about the Japanese Peruvian experience. I had a family friend who who was a child uh, who was taken from Peru and um, interned in Crystal City, Texas, and I, he told me about what had happened to his family, and I was shocked I'd never heard about it and um, I started to do some research because I was just starting to transition into journalism and wanted to publish my first article and this was a story I felt would be very compelling that no one had heard and I called up Grace to interview her because she is the expert on the Japanese Peruvian history of World War II and uh, typical Grace at the end of the conversation she said um, well, you know, uh, we could use someone with your skills on our campaign. Uh, do you think you could come to a meeting next week? <laughs> and uh, I got drafted into the, uh, the campaign for justice, Redress Now for Japanese Latin Americans, and um, had an amazing time uh, working with Grace and Art and um, going to Washington, D.C., lobbying members of Congress and um, working hard to get some recognition of this important untold story of World War II and redress, but we'll talk more about that later. But that's my connection to Grace and Art, and I really appreciate Art as a, a gentle soul and always quick with a joke, and um, it's great to have in, in, on those uh, long, exhausting lobbying trips. So, uh, I'm very honored to be here. Um, my co MC is uh, National Japanese American Historical Society's past president, Judge Brian Yagi, who would like to open the program with a few introductions. Brian? Thank you, Julie. Can everyone hear me back there? I know I usually get blamed for not asking that, but I see a thumbs up. Thank you. Uh, at this time, I'd like to welcome everyone uh, today, and thank, you, and thank you for coming. We'd like to acknowledge our special guests here today, uh, and I would ask you to please stand. From the Council General's Office, Deputy Council Shoichi Nagayoshi. Council, are you here? <laughs> Bill Tamayo, District Director, EEOC in San Francisco. Bill, where are you? Dr. Emily Morase, San Francisco Unified School District Board Member. I know you're here. Utah State Senator Janie Iwamoto. I know you're here too, Janie. Where are you? Former Hawaii State Representative Barbara Marumoto Coons. Barbara? And uh, Antonio Medrano, ACLU, Chair of Berkeley North East Bay Chapter. I'd like to also welcome at this time the new super, uh, excuse me, the new interim superintendent who has been familiar with our park partnership agreements from the very beginning. Back in 1994, from the post to park transition days, interim superintendent Cicely Muldoon. Thank you very much, everyone. It is such a great honor to, to be here today, both as a uh, native born of the Presidio and a longtime partner with the National Japanese American Historical Society. This is one of the most um, fantastic of many fantastic partnerships here on the Presidio of San Francisco. And as I'm sure, as you all know, just one of the many partnerships across the national park system dedicated to telling these stories of uh, great social injustice. We take pride in the National Park Service in preserving some of the most beautiful places across the country, but of course, among the most important work we do is telling these stories that must be remembered forever. So we are uh, deeply honored to be here today. Thank you. 